out of my house in nature for once. I left my backyard just for you. I thought it was only fitting that for this video all about paganism and nature that I actually went and filmed out in some nature and talk about going off the beaten path. We're just here at my favorite local park in the middle of town but we ended up kind of off on what was basically more a deer trail than a real trail, but it's worth it because I found the perfect spot to do this video. And so, yeah, let's get into it. Today, I want to talk to you just a little bit about paganism and nature and what that all just basically means to me, how I view nature now that I'm fully kind of within the practicing pagan sphere and why it's so important to me. And I think why it should be so important to all of us who kind of call ourselves a pagan. It's not just about having a sense of spirituality or a spiritual connection to nature or reverence or a respect for nature, but to me it's also about having this desire or need to also help restore some balance to the natural world and show kindness to it because so often, especially in modern society, we are doing the exact opposite of that. I feel it's especially important for those who are practicing paganism or magic or wanting to work with nature in any way, shape, or form to not only have that healthy amount of respect or reverence, but also to be actively seeking to restore a balance to the natural world and to maintain that balance. I often say that I think a required reading for anyone who wants to be a pagan is A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin because that book is not only just an entire metaphor for shadow work, but it's also all about just because you have this phenomenal cosmic power or the ability to use magic or your willpower to affect and shape the world around you. As they often say, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And especially within that book, A Wizard of Earthsea, the ultimate, I think, lesson to be learned when you have these abilities is when to use them and knowing more often than not when not to use them because it's like the whole butterfly effect thing. If you try to affect like one small thing over here, we can't always know what the larger ramifications or effects of that are going to be. And so I think it's very important for us to be using our powers, not only like our mundane powers as human beings, but also our magical and spiritual abilities to be maintaining that equilibrium in the natural world and helping to restore some of the balance that we are so often a part of messing up and taking away. Other big thing that I feel like especially distinguishes paganism from say more like Christian or Abrahamic style religions is that there's way less focus on an afterlife. So often I feel like it's all about being a good person and getting into the best afterlife possible that we're not focused at all on what we're doing in the here and now. Especially where like most pagan religions are concerned, it's less about an afterlife and there's more emphasis on just the world around us. To me, another thing that kind of drew me away from the more like Eastern philosophies and a lot of like sects of Buddhism is that there's this view that the natural world or our life here on earth is merely an illusion or just something to be struggled with and eventually overcome or even in Christian views they'll say like oh like God created the earth for man for us to use and in, in many cases I feel like that often gets taken into the realm of like well this is all here for us to use and exploit and it doesn't matter but it's the exact opposite especially within Norse paganism 
Odin and Billy and Vey and the gods, they created Midgard and everything in it, not just for us to have and to use, but also as someone who works with like the Vaynar, for us to enjoy and actually experience while we're here, not just struggle through or survive, to, to actually enjoy all of the beauty that the natural world has to offer. So it shouldn't just be glossed over or ignored. It, it was made for us to live in and also to, to enjoy everything that's in it. What drew me to paganism in the first place is just this sense that no matter how crazy and chaotic everything in our modern day society is or in our day to day life might be, you know, shit might be hitting the fan out there, but if you're able to kind of tune all of that out even for a second and just get out into nature and appreciate its beauty just for that one second we're practicing mindfulness in a way and just yeah able to still take that beat out of the rush of everyday life to just stop and smell the roses and relax and just still appreciate everything that's here for us even when everything in life is not going our way. I think that's when it's the most important to do that kind of thing. Through our actions, not just our everyday mundane actions, like going out here to nature or to the park and picking up trash and things like that, or recycling, but also with our magical and ritual practices, we can not only connect to the spirits of the land and to the nature around us, we can, yeah, have a positive impact on nature itself at, even if it's just at the personal and micro level. In, especially in nowadays, we're always striving to maybe have a large societal or social or environmental impact by doing things like recycling or being part of like an environmental group and things like that more often than not especially for me it just feels like you're sisyphus like pushing that boulder up the hill and it rolls back down in terms of trying to fight for like larger societal impact and change just modern day society and politics and all of the things that are involved in that it can often feel like you're just pushing against the wall and not getting anywhere if we can kind of turn more inward and have those small little positive changes it's i almost see it as like creating our own small ripples in the pond instead of feeling like we're constantly fighting against this larger current we can do just little everyday things in our day-to-day -day lives whether that's just leaving offerings for the local land spirits around you or feeding the birds or even if it is just you not using plastic straws even if that's not going to have a larger environmental impact or shift the whole world toward doing that type of thing we can still feel good about the smaller individual impact that we're having and our own personal connection and relationship that we're building and nurturing and fostering with nature, even if it's just the local nature around you. Um, even if it's just those small things and it's not going to affect any wider impact in, on the world, we're still kind of building up our own good karma with nature in a way. And I feel like even those small personal impacts are still felt by the land and by the nature spirits around us and that they are still noticing and appreciating those things. Another important thing that I kind of wanted to touch on briefly in this video because it's going to lead in to another series of videos that I've been wanting to make for a long time. I often call myself like a Norse Druidic pagan because Druidry and Celtic paganism are also something that I've always had a big interest in. And according to the book The Secret Teachings of All Ages, the Druids believed that the state of the world is in a constant flux between good and evil, and that our everyday individual choices or actions are what affects that balance. So it is kind of like karma in a way. And to me that just means that we can have the, an individual impact and effect on the natural world. And so by doing these little things, by leaving offerings out to the land spirits, by gardening, composting, recycling, all of those little things can still make you feel good about what you're doing for the environment and I feel like it, it is noticed and appreciated by, by nature at large. Because one of my kind of personal philosophies has just always been to leave everything a little bit better than when you found it. By doing that, I think you really will notice an effect and an appreciation. Like as I'm talking about this right now, there's a lovely cool breeze blowing in. Maybe that's just kind of 
nature emphasizing that like yes we're here we're listening and sometimes it really is those little things that will bring you the biggest personal impact in your practice but to kind of leave this off i just wanted to say go outside and always try to leave things especially in nature a little bit better than when you found them and trust me the land spirits will thank you <coughs>